and welcome to day three of week one and colour mixing. So we've done a little bit of colour mixing, we've done our lovely balloons painting, so now we're going to look further at watercolour, in particular overlaying watercolour, so working fairly dry, so although the watercolour is wet you layer it up in dry layers so you're not wetting the paper first of all and then we're going to have a little experiment with wet paint onto wet paper so this is where you wet an area of your paper and then you drop wet paint into it and we get a colour bleed which is what has happened here so we'll start with this one here again using my primary colours. Let me grab my paintbrush. I'm going to use a smaller paintbrush today. doesn't mean you have to. It's completely up to you. Obviously not a tiny brush. That's not going to work for this. But it's whichever brush you feel comfortable painting with. Okay, so I'm going to start with some yellow. My palette's good to go. And we're going to keep this quite loose, quite almost quite abstract actually. And we're going to go for a series of circles. So with my yellow. Now remember I'm not wetting the page before for this one. So it's wet paint going onto a dry page. That means the watercolour will dry quite quickly. Which is what we want for this one. Because what we want to achieve are layers. And because watercolour is translucent, then if I let that dry and I went over that with another layer of yellow, you'd get an overlap. You'd see where the two layers of yellow had made that area darker. Okay. So, give that a minute or two, or a second or two even, to dry. Take the water off my brush. So I'm just reactivating the colour that's been sat on my palette overnight and because it's watercolour you can do that. You just add a little bit of water and it reactivates it. Okay, so I've got my yellow circle, I want my red circle to overlap that a little bit. Nice circular motions. Got a little bit patchy. That's absolutely fine. Just put a little bit more water on your brush and go back over that and spread that colour about. Excellent. Okay, give my brush a good wash, take out the excess water. slightly orange where it's picked up a bit of the red which is absolutely fine. Let's go add a little bit more yellow there. Let's try some blue now. So this is really just an exercise of layering Practicing those nice smooth brush strokes as well. Now just because I'm doing this in watercolour doesn't mean you could have a go at doing this in acrylic, pencil crayon. In fact I'll show you here, it's a pencil crayon one. So I've put my yellow on, blue, red and they're overlapping in the same way and you're getting that colour mixing. So even though it's much more layered, it doesn't blend quite the same, you can still see the layering. So if you haven't got paints at home, try it with pencil, or if you just want to try something different after you've done the painted version, 
try it with pencil. There we go. So see, you can see the, where the colours are overlapping. And I'm just going to keep, you could just keep going really and fill your page. And you might get some little bit of a mix of green. See if we can get a bit of green mixed here. So if I go in with some yellow. similar to the balloons task but hopefully you'll start to see that you get different range of colours so I've got green I've got an orange I've got my three primary colours so it's quite a nice way of seeing how colours do mix now putting yellow over these two we should get tertiary colour so because you're using your three primaries your red blue and yellow they will mix together to make a colour of three parts a tertiary colour okay brilliant and that's that one so you could just keep going with that as I said nice little exercise which will hopefully create an abstract watercolour piece. So this one, our next one, is our ink bleed technique, or colour bleed technique, should I say. So this is wet on wet. So what we mean by that is, with clean water, paint yourself a circle on your page. Quite a bit of water. You want to be able to see that water very clearly on your page. It almost wants to be a, a puddle of, of water. Then, with your paint that's as watery, just start to drop that paint into that wet circle. Can you see how the water is catching the paint? and it's spreading. It's quite effortless really. You can just let the water do, and you let the water and the paint do what they want to do. It's a little less controlled, this. You can't control the outcome as much. So I've got my blue. I'm gonna go in with some red. I might just take some red off my tablet of colour actually, off the actual tablet, just to thicken that up a little. There we go. And just, there we go. I'm just going to drop that in. And it's lovely. You can see as soon as that red hits that blue, it just spreads. Especially just watching the, the colour. So I'll do a little recap. So it's this one. Wet your page. Go in with your equally wet colour. I'm going to do the reverse on this one, so I'm going to go in with some blue. Just drop the colour in, and as soon as that hits the water, you'll get all those lovely patterns and bleeds and colour. And there you have it. Two 
really nice colour mixing exercises. And as I said, you can go on, do as much or as little as you like. You could even, after you've had your practice, go for creating an abstract piece. These almost look like bubbles, so you never know. You could create a piece of work inspired by that. But anyway, thank you for watching. And as always, please, please share. We love to see what you're up to. We've had some really great photos come through on our Facebook and it's really brightening up our day. Okay, take care and we'll see you again soon. Bye.